This will be part one of my Chez Pierre review. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Nick at Talk and Review. So the fragrance review we are doing today is from a company called Chez Pierre. So we're gonna do two videos on this one. So I'm gonna do mine and then Anthony's going to do his at some point. So a very nice gentleman at Chez Pierre dropped his message to me and Ant and said, can I send you some of my fragrances and see what you think. So they were very generous. They sent us quite a lot of their fragrances that they had. They're a clone company. They were founded in 1994 and the company's based in Serbia. The posting on this one was very fast. It, I think it got to me in like three or four days from when we spoke. So the ones I'm gonna go over are their interpretations of some of their Creed fragrances. Um, so we've got uh, Green Irish Tweed, Aventus, and Virgin Island Water. So, just to give you an overview of the bottles. So this is one of the bottles. They do have different variations of the bottle. Um, you have a sticker which says um, Ches Pierre, and then it tells you the name of the brand. And then here's your lid, and this is what it looks like. And this is your sprayer. I don't know if you can see that, very big spray. Very nice. So before I go into what these smell like, um, on the website and what makes them probably a bit different to the normal clone houses that we purchase from, you get to choose the bottle type that you receive and this be a glass bottle or a plastic bottle. You then can also choose the strength that you want the um, aftershave or fragrance to be and it's based on whether it be eau de parfum um, and it's based on ratios so they give you different ratios in terms of strength of what you'd like to choose from the fragrance. Right I'll start with the Aventus one. The opening smells like Aventus and you know what it is as soon as you spray it. In terms of how it progresses progresses throughout the day, the smell of Aventus probably tends to fade away. Um, and you do get that sweetness, um, but I'd probably say the strength of the opening of where you get that Aventus vibe um, dissipates throughout the day. Right, the Virgin Island Water. Um, this one is called Feels Like Summer. Performance on this one is absolutely monstrous. I could smell this all day and it felt like I had an absolute beast of a bubble um, around me. This one, you've got a very coconut sun cream vibe to it with a little bit of, it feels like a menthol type of smell but that coconut vibe is very there. Um, you know what it is as soon as you spray it, um, but this one is monstrous in terms of the performance. Okay, so this next one is called Irishman Power. As you can guess, it's green Irish tweed. This one is really good, and I'd probably say this is one of my favorite green Irish tweed clones that I've smelled. It really nails that earthiness that comes with uh, Green Irish Tweed. Performance again on this is bang on. Um, it lasts all day. Um, I sprayed a few here. I could just constantly smell this one. Yeah, really surprised me with this one. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it was. If I was to pick out of the three in order, um, Green Irish Tweed would be number one. 
Number two would be the Virgin Island water. The performance on Virgin Island water is better than the Green Irish Tweed, but I prefer the smell of um, the Green Irish Tweed. And then um, the Aventus um, is last. So that's my thoughts on Ches Pierre. Um, so yeah, big thank you to them for sending the fragrance over. We're gonna have a part two where Ant's gonna go over some of the other fragrances that we've got from them at some point in the future. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment down below. What is your favorite green Irish tweed clone? Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next review.